All righty, DFS star, good luck. Early aggression, I like it. This is a good opening. Let's play the Stonewall for Amon. Stonewall structure and for Cuz. Let's try an in-between move. If the bishop takes, my knight recaptures. And I'm hoping these squares are a little weak. Maybe we can tickle. I would play f5 if I was playing block. I'll try it anyways. Put some pressure on. Maybe knight d5 next. Alright, quick little castle. My bishop's a problem, which happens in the stone wall, but we got some ideas. Ah... Uh, Knight e knight, knight's going to e6. My queen can drop back if knight h6. We're going here. I'm giving a check. If the queen blocks, I can throw this intermezzo in. Why? Knight takes, they recapture, the queen hangs. But if knight takes and they take the queen, what's the important move we have to see, guys? What happens after knight takes bishop, queen takes queen? Chess ninja, you're on fire. We can take this knight with a check first, which changes everything. Because then we can recapture the queen later. Which means we're going to be up a piece and my opponent's not going to be a happy guy. Right? We could take, but then they recapture. We didn't benefit. We take this, all of a sudden we're up a piece. We're just up a piece here. We're, we're cruising. And now I just want to open things up and trade. This is a, a good good way to try to attack. Put the knight here. Put some pressure on. I like it. Problem is I'm up a piece. That's a problem. Check. That's a juicy square. Trades are good. Open up this rook. Bring all the pieces in. We want to bring all the pieces in. Check. Now the bishop has a great diagonal. And trades are just great for me. Up. Activate the rook. All right, what's the move here? The king is on the run. Couple of good moves. They both have the same purpose. This loses less material. Knight e7 check. Introducing rook take c8 as well. The Lydiast and Chess Ninja, thank you for the subs. Happy Friday. 73 more points. Go with the bird. Develop. I'm going to go e4 this time. A little more aggro. Okay. Let's just support the pawns in the middle. 
castle. This time I'm not feeling Kedowing. I'm switching up the move order. But I am going to give away my bishop for the knight. Just to mess up the pawns. And then my queen's going to transfer over to h4. And sometimes I can start to generate a bit of an attack on the king's side. I don't want to trade queens. If I'm investing three moves to move my queen, I'm not going to just trade a queen immediately. Because then that was inefficient. I'm going to attack. With purpose. Get rid of the defenders. Bring my pieces out. My knight g5 is my next move. Okay, they defended. That was a good job. Let's get rid of the defender. Maybe put some pressure here. These pawns are still pretty loose. Good night, Darkbone. But we got rid of one of the king's defenders. Prim, thanks for the tier 3, buddy. Let's take. And now... We need more pieces in the attack. So I'm going to prepare to double my rooks. Like this. And we have a discrete idea. My rooks are attacking this. My queen is attacking that. All at the same time. That's a move. It's a good move, I think. We could win the queen. Do we want to do that? I'm not ready yet. It, it would have been fine to do that. We're going to wait for a mistake. That's the mistake. Things are going to collapse here. Pawn takes, queen takes check, the king moves, we take everything off, and the bishop is loose. Like this. And we won two pawns as a result. We're up two pawns, so we got to be confident that we can win this. But I'm confident I can win up two pawns. Bring the king. I'm going to bring my knight here and reroute. This is a passed pawn. We're going to make another passed pawn. And that should take away our opponent's counterplay. Check. Let's keep pawn hunting then. We're up three pawns now. You want to go here and win my pawn? Not going to let you. Nope. I didn't agree to that. Check. Now we're going to take this. And then we're going to go here and take that. Check. We're going to take everything. Take everything Buddy has. Now we can push. Knights like this, good luck, buddy. We're playing the bird. So far, it's been working real well. I don't know how many hours I've played chess. It's, it's, I don't know how many thousands of hours. Is it over 50,000? Is it over 100,000? Well, I, I don't know. I'd have to, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. They stopped me from fianchettoing. I got distracted. But I'm gonna try my own stuff. 
I will Fianchetto, one way or another. Gonna transfer my queen over. That would be a lot of shots, Handsome Devil. One shot for every... For every uh, 5,000 hours. I'd be in the double digits for sure. But what I do like is when my opponent gives away their dark squared bishop. Because then, these squares are really loose. And when I mean loose, I mean very loose. You're going to see how loose. Put the rook here. Then the knight's coming here. The knight's coming here or here. And we're jumping on the dark squares. I'm going to jump in the squares. Just give me some time. I don't mind if they take my rook. If they attack it with their knight, I want them to take. Because then my knight will recapture and I'll fork the king and the queen on f6. So watch this move. h3. That's the move I like to play. My winning? No. Is it going to be tough for my opponent? Yes, they're going to have to play pretty accurately. They found it. That's very well done. Props to them. Now we're just playing chess. They defended against my, my trick. They didn't fall for it. But we're still doing okay. I still like the position a lot. I'm going to put the bishop here. And we're just going to sit on the position. Like this. Now the rook can't go. We're going to support the pawn. I'm going to king walk. Maybe. Yep, we're going to king walk all the way down. No worries. I don't mind uh, a little walk for fresh air. All the way down. And then we're gonna... Okay. King's still coming in, buddy. If I want to, I can support with this pawn. But what I really want to do is set up checkmate, the mating net. Rook here, so our, our rook can go to b8 and checkmate the king. If they attack our bishop, king e7. No fucks given. There we go. That's checkmate. That's a mating net. And we're going all the way down, deep inside. Start with f4. Bring the knight out. I'm gonna fianchetto again. But I like to do this. I like to pin first. Just to harass them a bit. Let's castle. And the usual queen transfer has been working real well. First, I get rid of my bishop so I don't have to worry about it. Then we bring in the queen and we start putting some pressure over here. And we hope for checkmate. If they move their knight to the wrong square, that's checkmate. But we're not winning because of hope chests, we're just putting pressure on it. Let's jump this guy in. I will take and mess up your, your pawn structure. Now my knight wants to join the party, I'm still putting pressure on. Trades. We can deal with it, hopefully. That's a good looking move. All right, let's develop the knight and defend our bishop. Let's make some space for the king so we don't have to worry about any anything over there. Whoa! 
Now what's the matter with that move? Hmm? Something looks off there. Gonna have to grab the lady. Sorry about that, pal. We take those. We have another NM. Good luck. Hello, Yubitsia. Are you bored of this? Are you not satisfied? Can't satisfy everybody. We're gonna match the energy in Kato. I'm gonna try it. I know it's like, this isn't gonna win you all your games, but I've been having good success swinging my queen over. I wanna see where this leads. Oh, in that case, I'm definitely taking, because that messes up the pawns. Double Bs, put the knight on C4, that's an outpost. Swing the rook in. That's an outpost because there's no pawns on the adjacent files to attack it. And it's supported by a pawn, meaning it's pretty hard to dislodge. The only piece that can dislodge it would be this knight. This bishop's on the wrong color. Queen's not going to do it. Okay, they're doing the right thing here. Let me push. I don't want to trade because that helps their pawns. So I'm going to move back because this is a weak pawn. I might be able to go bishop a3 and harass it. Now my knight can wiggle around this way. I'm going to fix the pawns. They're on dark square so my bishop can pick it up in the end game. If you're sipping, having fun, join Tigger. He's in our Discord tier 3 chat. Maybe Champ will join. Do I want to trade queens? No. I want to attack. And we're going to attack. If the queen takes... Oh, the queen didn't take. But what's the problem with this? What's the issue with taking the pawn here? It frees up this pawn, doesn't it? And now my knight and rook support. And they capture. And now we're just up again. If they move the rook, oh, a respect resignation, good game. We got our bird set up, I play e3. Thank you. That's the setup. That's been working real well. I have a trick here. Are you ready? I'm going to push the spawn, hanging my bishop. Okay, he didn't fall for it. The queen would have been trapped, but it was familiar, I guess. I kind of like this square. We'll see what I can do with it. Hey. Edis, good to see you in the channel. After meeting you last week. How you doing? Just doing a speed run here with the boys. Kevin's around lurking somewhere, causing issues. His usual self. All right, let's open things up. <clears throat> there we go. Let's take. Put my queen on its final destination where I can put some pressure on the files. I 
That's a good move. People are starting to play better. I don't like that, hey? It's not uh, what I signed up for. Let's take here. If the queen takes, my knight can slide in. If the pawn takes, I'm going to attack this weakness and bring my queen in. Okay, stopped it. Everything's defended, but I'd say my opponent's playing pretty well right now. I'm going to need a blunder. And this is where I really need to see the blunder. Thank you. This is why the queen is on g3. So we can play moves like this. Because it's pinned. And it's easy to miss. I'll keep harassing your queen. And then I'll take the pawn back. Oh, shoot. I'm moving my queen away from any possible checks. Now if the queen moves off of this diagonal, I have knight f6. I want to go check, maybe. Although they can go here. It's a bit annoying. Maybe I didn't defend that perfectly. Because now they're threatening checkmate. Which... It's a little annoying. Let's block the checkmate. I'm thinking about giving a check and putting my queen and rook on the back rank. Going for my opponent's king next. I can't move the knight or I'm going to be checkmated. So this is what I was thinking of. Check. And then here. Trying to get my opponent from behind. My queen watches over this. Check. And now I bring my queen in and I'm threatening checkmate. Is this checkmate? Can the king move back? Is my queen defended? Can the king move anywhere? Nope. Nice. We, we pulled the king out where it was very vulnerable. Luke Master, good luck. You're going to give me the center? I'm going to take the center. A bird can transpose into other openings. And that's not always a bad thing. I'm gonna just charge, like Last Samurai. A4, I, I prevent this and I also tuck my bishop in. Let me say hi to this pawn. There's some good moves for black here, but we'll see if he sees it. Defending C2. I'm ahead in development, and I'm hoping to open up the F file in the future. Can we get behind that? Also, now that I move my knight out of the way, I open up the possibility of bishop f4. Okay, I'll take it. Dad bod shuffle. Queen still has to move and it's tethered to the bishop, which is a bit tricky. Do I have any nicer moves? We'll take the material. We'll take the material. 
Queen is still tethered here, and I would love, love to Queen trade if you give me a chance. Let's open up the bishops. I'm not worried about getting mated. I don't see a checkmate yet. And I don't know where the rook goes, to be honest with you. Where is that rook headed? Here? Something looks fishy. I consider myself an aesthetic player, so I'm gonna go rook f7. Not in a very friendly mood today. If rook takes, queen e8 check, king here, queen takes rook back, and the attack continues. If not, I'm gonna go queen, d queen e8 anyways. I wanna trade, I'm up the exchange. The more I trade, less likely I'm gonna get mated. I could have gone queen e8 check and done the same thing. Queen e8 and then rook f7, but going for a bit of flash. Bishop g3, just queen check, king here, trade everything, and you're down in exchange in the end game. It was probably even better, but we'll figure it out. Black doesn't want an end game because they're down a full exchange and their attack dissipates. We got him thinking, that's for sure. Check here. Check here. I don't see anything yet, so I'm going to load up my rook. I don't see anything convincing enough. I got to watch out that I don't get made it here, hey? My bishop moves away from this, I'm in trouble. So I'm definitely playing with a little bit of fire. That's fun. I like the adrenaline. Check. And then I take and I slide my other rook in and penetrate their sec uh, seventh rank. Good game. Carlos, good luck. Whenever I see the knight here with, with my version of the bird, we're fian counting real early. I don't mind. I mess up the pawns. I have some ideas. You just have to trust me. I'm gonna uh, park my bishop here. Stick it right there, that's a nice square. If the knight ever moves, we get to trade. Bring the other pieces in. These double pawns are gonna be a target in the long run. I like to swing my queen over as well. My queens are usually swingers. So we take, that weakens the king when they lose that bishop. I'm just gonna go b3 just to discourage any ideas that black might have of getting rid of their double pawns. I was playing black, I might go queen f6. That looks like a pretty reasonable diagonal. Bring the queen in. Now the rooks are next. Like this. Reasonable. Reasonable. I don't mind trading. I still think these pawns are weak. I'm going to play h3. Incorporate some habits. I'm arguing that I have a better endgame because of the pawn structure. But even if I don't, I have a pretty easy position. My rooks are involved. My knights are involved. Got some ideas. Maybe knight h4, knight f5 check because the pawn has been picking up the lady. Should we investigate if we can pick up the lady with a cheeky check? It's worth, worth looking around, I think. I might go d4 next move, by the way. If I can trade the queens, then the bishop is gonna be not, it's gonna be unhappy, stuck behind that pawn. We'll see. 
Well, but he thought he was fancy. Not a bad idea. He's trying to trade. Problem is, I have another move planned. Now, I just told you what I was planning, but some of you guys are probably like, high as hell. What's the move for white here? When I see the king here, which I provoked by trading the bishops, and I have this formation, the pawn is pinned. So what's the move? Brian MP, well done. Anyone else? Jingo says knife f5, that's right. Good stuff. Check. And then we pick up the lady. Good game. Oh, the Germans are here. The Germans know theory. They always play theory. And we're gonna test their theory. G5 is the... Okay, I think G5 is the main move, but... I don't know theory anymore. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I'm gonna invite you to attack me. I'm just gonna say, hey, I'm a pawn up. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Give me more by Britney Spears. My point is I can recapture with a coup. Ooh, okay. I'm looking at this move. I'll keep my sturdy center. I worked hard for it. Let's not give it up quite yet. We go here, bishop g3 is going to annoy me. So we're going to go knight c4 and remove this bishop. We're going to chop that bishop off. Like this. And then solidify the center. Now if I go h3, the queen slides in, I have bishop f2 blocking the check. Mosgrel, appreciate that bud. Same with you, Ryan. You know what? I'll try it. Oh, that's a good move by them. I have a couple ideas though. Check. Takes. And king here. Am I alive? I'm up a bishop and I'm preparing this. Put your calculation helmets on. I'm up a full piece for a pawn. Well, so technically not a full piece, but you get the point. But I gotta watch out. Let's attack this rook. I don't see any checks or captures. And I wanna bring my rook in. Probably this rook. Is that... So if the pawn goes here, then I bring the rook in. I am a bishop here kind of guy. Bring the rook in. That's a good Vishenzug. In between move. Take away some of my opponent's pressure. Trades would be great with our current material count. Yeah, I don't see a good place for the lady. D6 or C7, then I can just swap. Yep. But my opponent's like clearly a good player. They're probably thinking I might be uh, a smurf. Because I'd say they, they knew theory, they put some pressure on, and if I wasn't playing like some of these accurate moves, uh, my king would have been in trouble. But I think I've calculated everything. I'm a gentle guy. I'm not a smurf. I just want to play with my bishops. And trade everything. Yeah. 
There we go. Your knight's there. What if I go g3 and say hi to your knight? Where's your knight going? It's going nowhere. It's going to be traded off next move. Good game. Good game. Let's continue with the bird. They're going for a quick fianchetto. I'm going to grab the center in this case. I'm just going to grab the space. It's like a hippo, hey? Are we playing against the hippo? Are we going to have to slaughter a hippo tonight? Okay. I'll try my best. Going to develop that light squared bishop castle. Be a little ambitious towards the king side. Let's get that castle in. And now the usual. Bring the queen in. Maybe. I would like to develop these pieces. I'm just not sure the path. What the correct path is. Everything is nice and sound in the middle, but I do need to figure out how to move behind. Okay, let's start with this. Intimidate the opponent. They move backwards. Small victory. Let's go f5, try to rip things open. Oh, they took that fast. I'm going to use this f-pawn, backed up by my rook and pieces, and try to initiate some pressure. We're hoping for queen f6. Then we can win the queen in one move. It's important that we have this. It's really hard for black to put any pressure on that. My next move might be bishop f6 for sure. Sorry, bishop g5. Let's go fishing. Let's chuck that knight in there. If h6, my queen's gonna slide to h4 and put some more, more pressure. h6, queen h4. If you don't play h6, probably queen h4 anyways. We're gonna try this. f6. If pawn takes, my bishop just joins the group fun. If bishop takes, my queen penetrates the h6 square. And I have checkmate coming. I just realized they could do that. <laughs> But, have no fear, I thought I had this move, and then f7. Maybe we can get a better version of that. I think we can. I want checkmate, I don't want to win the queen. That's not why people are watching. I want to take your next move. Now, if you overprotect that, I'm going to slide my rook in. Your back rank. Rook lifts. And then after rook h4, queen h7 and queen h8 will be checkmate. So just a rook lift and then penetration on the back rank. Doesn't matter what they do. Rook h4 next move. They just can't move at all, eh? It's a bit tough for buddy. A bit tough for buddy. Because here, I'm threatening queen h7 and queen h8 mate. Good game, good game. Oh. Good luck, another French player. Oof, the gambits are coming, and we're going to test it out. Until I lose, we're just going to keep allowing it. This is one of the more most dangerous openings possible against the bird. And uh, we're trying to learn how to play against it today. And we have to move our knight back and try to retreat and try to survive. I'm going to bring the knight out here so I can play e4. 
I didn't want to take the knight. Because taking the knight would allow the H-file to open up and some dangerous things could happen. Oh, this I don't think I mind. I'm actually going to allow it. If the bishop takes and I takes everything in trades, I'm going to block with the queen and trade the queens and say, you know what? I have a better position because I have the bishop pair. And I like the bishop pair. And I have the open f file. We might as well throw this move in. How are they going to defend the f7 pawn? Right? Could be a little annoying. And my next move is going to be bishop. Okay, okay. That's reasonable. Is it time to throw in a check? Let's throw in a check. How are they going to block? Where does the king go? Okay, the king goes there. That's no problem. Now, I'm castled. They're not. That works for me. I want to trade rooks, but I want to replace my rook with another rook. And now my next move might be bishop f7. Putting a lot of pressure on all these pieces that are on light squares. Let's go here. That looks fun. Now I'm going to take this. Thank you for the pawn. Gonna take another pawn and we're gonna be up two pawns with a gorgeous position. Okay, the pawn pushed. So I can't take this. And this pawn is defended by the knight. And before we approach the next move, let me ask you a question. What do you think Black's next move is gonna be? Where do they wanna play? What's their next move? They want to bring their rook in the game, right? So they want to play king c7 so the rook can join. So if we think they want to play king c7, what's a good deterrent to king c7 that puts pressure on black? Very well done, Tim Cannon. Bishop g5. Pin. It's a no-risk move, and it's certainly inconvenient for black to deal with because they really want to bring their rook in the game because they're playing down a rook. That's another good move, another good find by the opponent. But let's add some more pressure on this. So I'm going to bring my knight here, and I'm looking to go knight takes f5 next because they're still pinned. Unfortunately, I can still take because after knight takes and bishop takes, this is a very, very strong pin. There's no pieces I can defend it because the rook can't get behind in time. Now we take. That's a check. We're up three pawns. I'm just going to bring my king in now. Everything, look at the bishops. Look at all the pieces. They're all maximum. And now I'm just going to run the pawn down the board. Push. The knight's still pinned. Push. 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 They can't take because I go here and they go knight f4. I can take with check. They don't win the rook. Everything's covered. Good game. That's it. So, alrighty. Lobo Menino Viejo. Let's go. More bird stuff. Knight f6. What's Fianchetto? Yeah. My bishop's not going here because there's no knight to capture, so we're just going to tuck the bishop in like this. And now bring the queen in. It's not the only thing you can do, I'm just picking a system and rolling with it. Hitting that. So I'm gonna go knight a3, develop my knight, and defend against c2. Yeah, 
Yes, we're playing the classics tonight, Fast Maniac. Robert Miles, absolutely. Only gonna give you the good stuff. I still have to figure out what's next. I might go fishing with this, undecided. I'd like to kick this knight out, but I don't want to block my bishop. I don't want to bring my rook in. I do, actually, but I don't want to give a free pawn. I can't tell if it's poisoned or not. I'm going to go h3. Give my king some space. Take away this square. My opponents are getting stronger. They're, they're, they're not just letting me, you know, come up and checkmate them. You probably noticed that. Ideally, we'd like to push in the center. Okay. Let's start building that pawn center then. What are we waiting for? Well, the one move we don't want to play is knight d4 attacking the queen. That would run into a very unpleasant checkmate. I'm going to go c4. Disconnect the pressure on c2. Gotta watch out for that queen. So I'm actually going to push up and block the diagonal because that's a bit annoying. Out of curiosity, where are you going with your knight if I go here? Because if you go queen check, I'm gonna go bishop here or pawn here. That's a hard move to find. This knight doesn't have too many squares. If the knight moves back, then I'll go b4. I'm hoping for b4. Knight a6, then b4, then I can threaten d5, forking the queen and the knight. Okay. Let's pin. And now that the queen is shut out of the game, I've done my duty. I'm threatening a3. If they take, my bishop defends the rook and as the queen is trapped. I'm also threatening knight c7. a3 is a move, knight c7 is a move. And uh, I think there's some problems, some serious problems with the queen sitting trapped on the queen side. Okay, let me grab that bishop first. Is that just the free knight? I think it is. We're gonna grab it as well. And uh, yeah, I think we're just up a piece. So now it's Operation Trade. Check. Happy to trade. Does, do they know that they're down a piece? Because uh, I'm just going to bring my king in and be quite content. Let's push. 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 Gobble. Oh. I'm up a pawn and a piece. So let's uh, bring those pieces in. Check. If we were to lose this, that would be bad. So let's be careful. Our opponent's pretty decent.
But I think we're doing okay here. Check. That was a good player. That was a very good player. So, sub to that. Alrighty. We got the Philippines. Host of the upcoming FIBA World Championship. Which is a pretty fun basketball tournament to watch. The US definitely has competition. A lot of really strong teams. And basketball is a team game. Alrighty. Are they going to play Theory here? The Gambit? Prom's Gambit? Let's... Let's see what the Pinoys have to offer. Two of the biggest sports in the Philippines. Chess and basketball. Huge chess culture. They had it on the television, big parades, big numbers, and basketball. Yeah. So they got some good taste there. Never visited though. All right, I'm gonna go E4 and try to develop. And try not to get mated. I said I'm gonna try not to get mated. Oh well, I can't have everything. I mean, they sacrificed. Jeez, hey. Okay, we're gonna have to move our king out of the way. The, the thing is, they did sacrifice, and a knight and a bishop for a rook, that's, that's not uh, necessarily a good trade for the rook. Pieces are usually better in the middle of the game. We're going to find out. But generally speaking, I like the pieces. Let's attack the queen. Bring my rook in the game. If you give a check, I can block. I'm going to I'm going to block. My bishops are going to say hi. Hopefully. If you take this, I'm going to checkmate the shit out of you. Cuz none of your pieces are developed and your queen is very far away. Preparing for checkmate. Preparing for checkmate. All my pieces are active. Black is still developing. This is one of the main reasons why in the middle game, the two pieces are favored over the rook. Unless the rook is tremendous. Or the pieces are really bad. We'll keep chopping. Penetration. Now we have a discovered, discovered ideas. The king goes here. We have queen f6 check. Okay. Check. Check. This is check made in a couple moves. Check. You see the checkmate? I think I kind of, oh, they resigned. Bishop f6 is checkmate in one. Well, you're one step closer to mastering the birds opening. To move on to the next episode, just click over here. And to stay up to date with all of our content, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the bell button, then you're going to get notified. See you next time.